Hey crypto friends, how's it going? I'm Michael Zabel. Today I would like to stake my Radix. In the previous video, I installed this Radix wallet. I went to wallet.radixdlt.com and installed the wallet. And then I did send some XRD from Bitfinex to my wallet. Now it is time to make this Radix working for me. And the way to do that is staking. So I click on stake and unstake. And then I click on view all validators because I will stake with two validators, but I need their addresses. The addresses I get from this validator list. In this list, I can see the name of the node, their staking amount, the percentage of the overall stake, and the uptime. The uptime is very important for me. This should be 100%. What I also see is the fees that they take from the rewards. So let's scroll down, because I want to stake with this node, Stadenlos node. It got 1.38% of the overall stake and it got 100% uptime and 0.5% fees. And I want to stake with Florian Pipa staking. Also 100% uptime, zero fees and 1.33% of the overall stake. Why these two nodes? Because there's currently a series of airdrops going on for a project called OCSwap. I think this is a promising project. The team aims to build the first decentralized exchange on the Radix network and they are airdropping OC tokens. I would like to get these airdrops and when I stake with these two nodes, I get 25% extra in the airdrops. But I get this premium only when I stake with them before their overall stake reaches 2%. Once it crosses the 2% line, then the premium for new stakes will go away. So right now I would still be eligible for that. Maybe one word regarding the fees, since Florian Pipa staking doesn't charge any fees, I could optimize by staking everything with this node. But then again, 0.5% fee is not all that much. It's very little in total and I want to diversify. Ideally, I would spread my stake across five different validator nodes, ideally in different countries, but right now I want to get as many OC tokens as possible, so I focus on these two. All right, let's start with Startenlos node. I copy its address over here, then I go to my wallet, I paste the address into this field, validator, and I choose the amount. Let's say 3,500, roughly half of my Radix, and I click stake. I have to confirm with my PIN number and click confirm transaction. This is already complete. When I check in my balances, then I can see that I still have my 7,142 XRD, but now only 3,600 are available. The rest is in staking. And it's important to know that unstaking would require quite some time. It requires 500 epochs on the network, which is something between one and three weeks. All right, let's stake the rest. I will copy the amount. I go to stake and unstake. I fill in the amount. I need some radix for transaction fees. So let's make this 3640. And now I need the validator address of the second node. This is Florian Pipa staking. I go to the address, click on copy go back to my wallet and paste it into the field validator. I click on stake, I confirm with my pin, 
and click Confirm Transaction. Fantastic. When I click on Stake and Unstake, then I have my two stakes over here. This is also where I can reduce each position or unstake it completely. But I'm not going to do that anytime soon. I'm very sure that I don't want to sell my Radix anytime soon. And for right now, I would really like to get the airdrops of the OC token. All right, I hope this is helpful for you. Let me know in the comments if you saw that I made any mistake. I'm absolutely new to Radix and pretty darn new to DeFi. So I am very grateful for anybody who can tell me what I could do better. With that said, I hope I see you in the next video.